out. We had finished building Slurrian Harbour, Port District, and Madison Heights. built all this and brought the blimps, zeppelins and monorail over. So tonight our traffic is in a bit of a quandary. So we've got to go fix things. So the area is needing attention. It's going to be back down on this roundabout and that's going to be a very simple one to fix. So this will be a, like an in-game tutorial tonight. So going through basic traffic fixes. on how to get your city running without spending mega money on infrastructure. No six lane highway, well shouldn't be any six lane highways. And basically just how to get your city, and no one should be doing U-turns off that either, running using just the simplest of techniques from altering, holy shoot, what's going on here, just one moment folks. I don't know what that was about, but okay. Yep, so just using the simplest of fixes. Okay. We're going through those quickly tonight. I'll be going right through the study to start us off to see what's going on. Because we've got a bit of derp in some areas. It could be just uh, move it having a jank. Won't be the first time. Won't be the last time. Anyway, traffic is tad on the low side, so we just need to get it back up again. So we'll be working our way through all the fixes. I'm not surprised that it's now spiked. And that will be a case of bringing another, yep. Some extra roads across. So we'll run through this tonight doing our fixes and then we'll um, I mean that's gonna be a case of yeah. and basically show you how to do it which shouldn't cost much money sim wise and will also save you a lot of grief so we'll start where we were last night uh, sorry Friday night in this new area and we'll work it back because the traffic's out of balance at the moment so at the moment we've got two problems. We've got a lot of traffic in here, a lot of people catching the monorail. So if we go to the monorail, specifically, not only are we making one hell of a profit, we're also running quite heavy. So we're using the transport line manager. And it's showing me, we are, we're saying to push capacity. Well, not at capacity, she is busy. So we're just going to make sure we've got no red dots. Shouldn't be, because the frequencies are very, yeah, it's a monorail about every three minutes. All the connections, so I know where all the feeders are coming from. See if they're causing the problem, and then of course the profits themselves. Which if I come here, it's just absolute churning over. But it's not the only thing I can look at. Age. Wow, wait, that's moving a lot of sums. Students and tourists. Fitting music. Wealth. Moving a lot of less well off sums tonight. Uh, this monorail. So, we're going to see where they're going and what they're doing. Agenda. Well, wait. <laughs> if any of my planning contemporaries from New Zealand tonight are watching, especially women in urbanism, women in the Aotearoa, I, um, yeah, that's a bit embarrassing, so we're going to see what's going on. So, let's see what, it could be just, a, um, just the game being a bit out of whack. But yeah, now the problem, 
there's a couple of problems in play. This is an intercity train station which generates a lot of traffic. This is also a tourist area, so if I go to tourist areas, so I'm just giving a context to the city. So we've got tourist area. No leisure, there will be no leisure on this side, they'll be in the campus area. So it attracts a lot of tourists and it does have it does kick over at night time. Oops. So we've got this intercity station generating a lot of traffic now. The quickest way to fix that, um, because it's only one, you need more than one. Let's build a second one. So we'll come down here and see where we can plot the second one. That's not going to interfere with the other transit services and not interfere with other infrastructure. So if we look here, we'll focus on one thing at a time too. So if we look here, we look in the Tribune area. Okay. So there's the line. There's the cargo. And if I look across, yeah, now she goes that direction. And so we'll try and use existing infrastructure without um, derping it off. The bus is, uh, is that an intercity bus? That's extremely unusual. That's not serving any. That's not helpful in its own right. Why is that offline? Yeah, they're waiting to go. So, just check to see why we're having a dip. Got all the buses going. City. So where have they all buggered off to? What's the time? Two o'clock in the game. Okay, for some reason all my intercity buses have gapped it. Um, okay, so that's fine. Looks like I'll be building in here. Let's see, we've got room to bring another line out. Or I can build it in here. The catch is it's a bit of a distance from the existing infrastructure. Um, building in here, I'm going to run into fouling of the uh, transmission lines. Because I have transmission lines sticking across the city. So we've just got to be aware of that as well. So let's first of all bring up. If we did, um, that, the only catch is it might bung the monorail too. So we've got. Okay, he's there. So that's fine. So this might be the only big... Uh, no, sorry, not the try. So this is... Um, could run a... Is it going to inter interfere with any transmission grids? No. So if we look at where the substations are, it won't interfere there, and it allows me to... Theoretically, run it back across here. Or if I want to cross the road, run it back across here. But I've also just got to factor it in. So this is where you've got to look at I've got um, industry making a run for it. Which could be a simple fix of say, the campus area. Thank you, Francis, for the follow. Much appreciated. Exclamation Discord if you want to join the Discord as well. And don't forget, we've also got the Java command, if one needs coffee. Okay, so we don't need a cargo station down here. And I think in all honesty, that industry is probably going to move to over here. Oh, think about it, because the campus is over here. But we'll fix it. So if we're going to run him, he is going to be quite literally hard up there. And I think it's going to be a case the transmission lines are going to prove to be a problem.
can I run the roads in any direction from here? No. And I don't want it interfering with the bus lines either. Got an idea which way this is going to run. I am probably going to come up and over. Okay, so we'll give this a go, see what happens. So I also want to keep them close to the monorail line. So that's... UK roads are good for this. Because they're narrower than the um, in-game counterparts. But move the same amount of traffic. Preferably not one with parking. And one way is not going to work for either in this instance. Using grass. either going to work or I'm just going to have to put it elsewhere. I should actually line it up. This could be a problem. You can really do it. <laughs> Good to see you Francis. Okay, then I'm just gonna... This is either going to work or not, so... That might be just a case of simply uh, where's the cargo lines? Yeah, they're not gonna run back that way, so that's Uh, just if you want to know what I am by profession, I am a spatial planner, so I am um, either doing research or um, bringing up plans that influence the public and private sector and their behaviours in influencing the spatial form. Short version, basically, I do planning that will influence how cities will um, turn out and how the people in the street business behave within them. So that's what I do. And, uh, um, so that's what I do as a profession, as a spatial planner. If I'm doing urban geography, that's mainly researching how um, the urban form works and the people that are within it. So we've... Sorry, just want the radio a bit higher tonight. So that is Tribune. And that should balance out the other end. So now I've just got to work out where to run the road. Theoretically it would be here. There's two ways to run that. In fact, I'm going to do that. <laughs> and then run him. Can't do that because it's too narrow. Oh, yes I can. Comes up and over. Which will break, which I'm going to catch this, it's going to screw up. Um, this which is quite heavily with buses means I'm going to get a ton of cars. The other way to do it is run it long. Yeah, I think he's sitting on the junction. I can't move him. 
that bofa. So that was bad planning. Let's bring it up here. So make him go round very long. Which I might just do for the moment. And bring this on. Uh, no, not bring that. I wonder how this music's for Crusader Kings. Leave him there for now. Uh, where is that? There. Okay. Uh, where's the node? Do we have a node? Yes, we do. I've always said it's going to be careful I don't screw up. There's no transmission lines coming from that direction, so I don't need to worry. Hey, Dan and Loff. Oh, music's a bit loud. How about this, Danny Loff? It's this particular track that's loud. How's the music now? And hope all is well with you. Okay, yeah. Um, as for no, yeah, I found out what it was. It was the because uh, Mrs. Palpatine found out too. It was doing this exact same thing. I had to alter the uh, info through Twitch desktop because um, it wasn't recognised in the app, which would be the average day of my life. We're just doing, um, so tonight we're doing in-game in tutorial on fixes. Bahantomi28, thank you for the follow. Again, uh, exclamation Discord if you want to follow me on the Discord and keep up with all the happenings there. We're doing infrastructure fixes tonight. What the heck are you doing? Oh, I don't know this game some days. Thank you. Yeah, so we're doing in-game fixes tonight. Ah, uh, sorry, doing fixes tonight because at the moment our traffic is a rather pitiful 79%. It was 86% before the game on Friday, and now we've got to go and do the fixes to go and fix it up. And we're going to be doing this without building any six-lane motorways. Uh, if you're wondering about the music, it is the CSL music mod, which allows me to play tracks from any Paradox game except Stellaris. So if you're ever wondering. Oh, and I can't do Gold FM for obvious reasons. For those who play cities. I'll promise Danny Loft to skip any um, Christmas music. It's gonna be... But I can't promise anything for the arcade stuff. Okay, so that's that done. Um, I am just wondering if I bring the industry around too, so... I'll see how that runs. If that's going to be a pain in the butt, I'll fix that, uh, fix that up. Uh, this one, actually. Is that going to let me do bridges? Yes, it is. So, yeah, we'll do, um, we're doing infrastructure fixes tonight. Let me just make sure that's facing the right way, which I know it's not. And also... Oh, funny game. Okay, 
so that's all fine. Excuse me, well, I just did a lane infrastructure on this. Give way. That just stops the super lanes. Q I will actually allow that. No U turning. Okay. So that gives me the train state, intercity train station. And for the pedestrians. Um, sorry, I'm having a bit of a brain fart. No earthquakes. Yeah, well, no earthquakes is always a good thing. PB paths. I don't know if you watched Cities in the Snap this morning, but they had JBS, who's a, um, a planner from New York. So it was good having him on today and explain the intricacies of um, planning in New York more to the point the United States which would be very different to apart from Canada to the Commonwealth I think I freaked them out though with the Resource Management Act then again the Resource Management Act freaks anyone out okay so that's done that's done so that's online so that will fix that problem up I shouldn't need to do... Oh, these are dark? So that's fixed that problem up. So now we go to... Oh, I've just got to keep an eye on my roads too because it decided to um, have a major as derp. Okay. So let's go fixing down here. Remembering... 79% so what I've done is I've just created a second intercity train station so it should take pressure off this station and the monorail not that not beside the fact I'm missing the $12,000 profit from the monorail station it's the best used line of the lot it's just it's causing problems elsewhere but now for the rest we're going to have to work out where our traffic problem is we're a Commonwealth country and we can't help it. No, well, they bought it on themselves. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we have to look at is what's the traffic doing? Sucking, for starters. Next thing we have to work out is where our transit lines are going. Okay, so they're going... And then the next thing we have to work out is where are they going? And that's using traffic routes. So routes. Okay. So this is telling me they're all coming from the station, which is going to fix itself out. They're also coming from... Oh, okay. Cheeky sodders aren't walking. They're also coming from elsewhere in the city. Actually, no, that's cargo. So the car's are coming from the station. And... Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze for a minute. I'm just going to turn the mic off. Pardon me. Okay, so they are going... Pardon me. Sorry about that. So they're going there and there, which is interesting. What? Okay, so if we take off or... So we've just got cars only. So for some reason... I don't know why they're driving there unless it's their new home. And they're also going here and transferring over? That's an intercity bus line. And the metro's not connected. So why? That is extremely unusual. For the most part, they're... 
going there. Okay, so they're causing problems. Oh yeah, the pedestrians are doing what pedestrians do best. Okay, I do have public transport and cargo coming round. Okay, so this is just going to be a simple case of blocking off. Um, trucks are also doing the same. Yeah, I can't block them off either. So I think this might be a case of... And no city service vehicles. Okay. Alright, so what have we got? Well, that stops that for starters. Uh, sorry, resume game. Okay, so they're all wanting to go down here for no damn good reason. Commercial office, uh, sorry, office. My blocked junction rules are not on. And we should technically disable it off that side. And we don't allow U-turns. I will allow a turn on the red. And he will be allowed to block. They're all fine. Okay, so that's that problem solved. Now the next one is this. Is basically we want to take cars out of that entire section. This is also causing problems here too. That's a lot of pedestrians crossing over, which might be just a case of a timed traffic light. Okay, so that should fix that on its own. Just on its own. So the next thing we do is it's going to do it for understand that. It's got a lot of catching up. Might take this under manual control. This, I just want this to clear. see where they're going. I know the game's having a jank, so just because I just need it to do um Okay, so we're backed up here again. A lot of pedestrians coming across too. So we'll take that back off. So, that should have cleared that problem right off the bat. Now, that's going to still show red for a while. Now, the cars have been restricted here. This is still going to show heavy because we've got a major interchange down here. We've also got to wait for the intercity train station to rebalance itself. And this will draw half the pro ha part of the problem out. The other problem is, is the transport system is not fully completed as you can notice here there's a metro line that needs to be built which would also um, take a lot of pressure off as for the pedestrians this is going to be a case of needing to do timed sig uh, timed signals and here we go this is a case where we've also got super lanes in play So this is now optimizing. Okay, 
And they are using that bus lane, so it needs to stay pot. Uh, who's taking the... F yeah, so we now we've got a traffic light phasing issue. Which, because we've got a lot... This is a very high pedestrian area, and these guys, I think, are just going onto the motorway and... Uh, sorry. I think I've also got the city buses running too. Yes, I do. Yep. Okay. So that's... It's going to be... Uh, what's the time? Not Russia. Theoretically, I should have probably brought the monorail station further down. But I have not. So it could be a case of... Oh, Zeppelin. Bringing some cycle paths around to fix that. See, they're allowed to turn on the red. So we've got two sections to deal with. Okay, so we've got a lot of pedestrians. And I can't do um, bridges. Well, yes, I can, actually. But it's not going to work. Before I do that, I need to go and Well, they are using them. That's been absolutely derpy. Okay. So we'll now go to phased signaling. And we'll now do time to traffic lights, which is this one. So here we go. Drop the node, and let's get some traffic lights set up, and I do have, okay, the monorail's green at all times, it's a pain in the ass how they don't differentiate, they don't differentiate, that's a real pain, okay, so, green, that's green at all times, this is, um, yep, that's needed. That can hold. So that needs, these need to come to manual control. I shouldn't... That's a left-right. I'm just... Um, no, not because of how that works. Uh, we'll need to bring these under manual control. Manual, 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 manual. So we're going to start with him, him, and him. And usually 11 to 15 should do. Add. Off. Oh, no. No, no, no. I need to go back to edit. I need to make sure these are all disabled. Yep. Okay. Save. Add step. So he comes off. My cat's been a derp. Uh, that can stay on actually. Let's make sure that's all correct. Yep. So that's. F uh... Yep. Let's add. We do another step. Take the red light off. Add. Off. And manual. 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 Manual? Sure. 
show counters. And then, evening Dr. Y, how are you this evening? We're doing traffic fixes tonight. Okay, so, just skip that. got all the pedestrians backing up. Look at that, they can bust the dunce. Look at that, all the pedestrians on the move. Without getting squished. Someone jump dead. And that is how you do a simple bound of fixes and that will pan itself out once I do the simulation so that's that fixed so we'll now take a save the save will take a moment I think it's also the fact that in the city stations now calm down I've got residential demand in that back up Just wait for the save, and then we'll go into our next area. So in this case, this was basically changing the lane layout, which lane goes where, restricting one set to um, not have cars, and then doing timed traffic lights. And that fixes that problem up straight away oh, I see these are not showing accurate counts our next one ooh. yeah see this is still gonna be moving a lot of traffic it's also we've got the cruise ships up here too okay so the next intersection we need to tackle and you've got to go through this methodically stage by stage line by line intersection by intersection so what have we got here Okay, that's done properly, although the hell's going back on down here? Okay, again, so again, a lot of car movement. Going to, oh, okay. Really? I do like it. does play one Stellaris clip. Okay, that's not causing problems. And they've got to turn on the red. So what have we got in here that's going to cause problems? First of all, we need to knock out any super lanes. And then just work back the junctions. So again... Um, take him offline. I don't think we've got really any problems here that need to be brought to my attention. This is just a case of just getting them. Are they causing any problems for the buses? Eighty-one, not a bad improvement straight off that. Not bad. Okay, so what do we got here that's causing problems? I could get rid of those parked cars. I'm just trying to think where I can drop a parking building. Testing is not causing the problems there, so we can leave that alone. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, we've got a super lane issue. So let's work this out. 
I'm just going to take a ponder for a second, just before I work this back. I never liked this clip from Star. Okay, we've also got a case of cruise ship traffic coming out. Lot of pedestrians on the move. Wow, we. So this will definitely okay. That definitely needs to come under lights control. Are we doing U-turns? Yeah, two. Okay, so that's definitely a case of lights um, doing a timed intersection. Tempted to keep the parking there for the minute, for the moment, and why the frickin' hell did I do that? Ugh. Um, have we got buses running down it? We technically do, on the left and right hand side, but they cross over, so no point. And it's also going to stuff up my traffic anyway. Excuse me, pardon me. Oh, you've got to be sodding kidding me. 25, 26. Oh, well, didn't I stuff that up? Okay, no trees for that route. Can I do it off this one? No, I can't. That's fine. You're just going to have an ugly flush median. Okay, so... Again, simple traffic fixes. Uh, no turning on red. U-turns are not allowed I might allow him to turn on the red yeah they can you turn there it's not causing problems there and I don't want them turning on the red there because I've got to give way Okay, so we'll go here, make him right only. They've got no reason to be down here. I am tempted to make that a no right hand turn. Is there anything that needs commercial? Yes, there is. There is a hotel there. But they shouldn't be coming from that direction. So they should be just running straight through. Okay, so now you go for the timed light. And again, setup is the same. So, manual control. One, two, three, four. I have it read. This is. Right. Change that. Change mode. Wrong one. A derpy game doesn't realise you can't take a right hand turn. Guess we'll take it off here. Mm, that's nice to know. Thirteen. To 16. Oh, phew, hoo, hoo. I think we'll want it that long. We'll get ourselves into trouble. Add step. Sable.
I might allow him to actually take a turn on the red. We'll see my generosity in a minute. It's... Start, show counters. Yeah, no, I don't need to do a turn on the red and it looks like they won't be affected. So that's fine. Now for the pedestrians. Oh, wow, that's a lot of pedestrians. That is a lot. All right, so that's fine. So we've got no problems there. And there's no problems there. I could allow them to turn on the red depending on how that's gonna bank out. But the problem is it can also screw up. That's a fire chopper I can hear. Oh, look at that. I might allow them that turn on the red. But they can't block the intersection. Where's he going? Yeah, he catches. If you've got one person turning right, that's it. So, what I might do is modify that off. Hopefully that doesn't bung the lights. So again, we're just doing fixes. Timed lights shouldn't have changed. No. One that I will need to do. And make sure that doesn't stuff up. What the heck? I didn't click that. So again, just simple modifications of the traffic line. No U-turn, thank you. Okay, that's kept them moving. So that allows them to move. So that's that done. Hopefully the truck monorail, one of the monorails balanced back yet. 
10,000, uh, could be the time of day. She's still moving a bucket load of passive. Whoa. Okay, we're getting full. Okay, so that's that sorted. Now, what's going on here that's caused... dislike it when it does that. That's caused by, and that could be another turn on the left. I don't like it when it does that. Hopefully that's fixed that problem. Okay, so that's those two issues fixed. And that fight didn't last long. Right, let's go to the next problem. 82%, so it's picking back up. So we'll do the dark red stuff first. And then we go work ourselves back. So that was very simple fixes off two. This could be a, just a simple case of... So they're fine. 82, so traffic so and we're coming into rush hour too. So this will always be busy. It's a cruise ship terminal, it gets janked very hard, very quickly. Now why are we having the biggest jank of our life back here? Taxis. Sodding taxis. So the best way to fix that is simply uh, vehicle restrictions. get them off sorry I'll just re do that again taxis can work themselves out at the roundabout Oh, big ass blump. Okay, so let's fix that problem. So now we go into the next one. And you should be doing this about every... F you should be doing this on a regular basis. That's going to be heavy. It's just a transport junction. Um, I think it's Russia, so I think a lot of people are going home. Which, if that's the case... It means the road... Yeah, okay, so the road is unable to handle it. I have a four-lane road. I'm just going to see what's going on here. Sometimes you have to go back to the... Okay, what's going on here? This is a case of where you have to go back into the thing in this. Biggest jank of our life.
Okay, I can see what's going on here. I thought I had cleared that up. Could be literally a case of adding another lane. Bring it across. Oh no, it's cleared itself up. That was a case of rush hour traffic being a pain in the ass. Okay. 82%. They're going to be as fine as you can. they're going to be. So now we go... That's because the roundabout was playing up. Alright. Next stop. Let's work out what's going on with the roundabout. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, this is just a simple case of, um... Just letting them rut. It's also a case I've got pedestrians getting on the road. So this one's gonna gonna have to be an infrastructure fix. So we've got pedestrians fouling the traffic. And what's happening is they are walking from just pardon me for a second. So this one's an infrastructure, as I was saying earlier, this one's an infrastructure. This one, we are going to need uh, infrastructure. Oh, bugger off. Oh, classic oil. Right. Oh, we'll stick with the Sims music. One moment. Alright, a lot of pollen there. Okay, so this one's a case of... We've got pedestrians getting in the road. Because I believe I've done my super lanes on this one. Actually, no, they weren't done properly. They've actually been done rather craply. Okay. Do your super lanes for starters. <laughs> See, the pedestrians are holding them up. Now, that's because they are being good little pedestrians. And they're walking from the factory. In fact, I think my industrial demand's up too at the moment. So, just pardon me for a second while I just go and deal with that. Okay, so my pedestrians have been good little wazzles, good little sims, and we're walking to our destination. And we're also waiting for a bus, which is there, I believe. <laughs> Ooh. 
Ooh, okay. No, he took them on board, so that's fine. I don't need to worry about it. So, as you can see here, what's going on? I oh, know it's making even more money than before. What's happening is they're walking between their workplace and home. Yay. Are going, going but at the same time, they're also walking along here because they believe for some reason it's faster than the bus. Even though the buses are here. Yes. Have fun, just make sure there's water in the tank. If you need to, pop boost on. And they're walking to here. Now, this is not, again, not a bad thing. The Sims are doing what they should be doing. Walking, not using the car. But it's cocking up my roundabout. So we're going to give them some encouragement, a further encouragement. Now, these PB paths, which are... These. Wonderful. They will use them. And if you want an example of that, oh, you will go to it. Oh, it's coming date, night time. Here they all are. Build it, they use it. They love using it. And this one gets very popular. So, PB paths from the Steam Workshop, worth it. And I've got a buck a lot of residential demand, so that's going to have to be fixed up. That might be tomorrow or Wednesday's scrum. We'll see how it goes. So let's let's not do what my home city does and discourage them from walking. Let's get them walking. Okay, so uh, this is where you do not want your nodes on. You might need anarchy to boot. Now, this one could be a case of going straight. Well, that sounds a bit off. Don't worry, they can go across. So that's good. Yeah. I've just got to work out where we're faulting. Okay, no, we're gonna. Okay, that's okay. We just gonna have a slight. We're gonna be derping. So that's okay. So let's fix that up. I'm wondering. It might not allow me to do it because the sheer fact I've got a. Um... Uh, what's good evening King I hope all is well we're doing infrastructure fixes tonight uh, what's going on Dr. Moe has the phone deleted them or were they just sitting somewhere where it can't be seen because I don't want to offer the um... that's going to be a case you're just going to have to walk around the trestle Sorry, don't have me sung. Okay. Now, this is going to be a case of where um, I need to see if I've got Metro. Where is that metro line? There. It's going to be, be running there. It could run in Birch, one in Birch District. But they, oh yeah, there could be one, in, one across, but there is going to be none running that way. Okay.
I take it you haven't got it back. Um, if that, uh, that, I think they would be permanently lost. But oh, goddamn pickpockets! Um, no, I do want to bridge that. Again, come, come again. Yeah. Oh. What's happened here? I was going to say, the PB pass should allow that. I think we're just having a bit of a, bit of a senior moment. Now we could do, oh, just before I do, just got to watch out, these um, PB paths don't like move it. Mm. So you have to pair it like that, so I can run those two ways. Uh, so, good uh, good evening, for those that have just joined us, welcome to City Skylines, I'm Palpatine001, aka The Senate, and we're doing infrastructure fixes tonight. Basic infrastructure fixes without building six lane highways that won't cost you a fortune. So at the moment, our traffic's at 81%. And we need to fix it. Now oh, that should. That's gonna demolish it. Nothing I can do. I just wanna. Can we extend the res. Oh, yes, we can. In fact, it can be extended in a couple of ways. Oh, for bloomin' sake. Yo, Harry, Harry. Uh, that's Keg said, yeah, if you know your serial number, um, they can brick the phone and they should be able to pull the files as well. Hey, Harry, how are you doing this evening? We're doing infrastructure fixes. Basically, traffic's at 82%. Oh, it's actually higher. We've got some red, and it needs fixing. Oh, I've got to do the industry after this. And just to make it harder, real-time mods on too. So we've got the simulated rush hours. Uh, which it currently is in the game. So this game simulates rush hour between 4 and 7 p.m. And 6.30 and 9 a.m. Monday to Friday. So you'll also, if you've got leisure areas, have tr um, another peak about 2.30 in the morning on any random game day. And weekends, if you've got tourism, um, you'll get a lot of traffic there as well. So it just makes it all fun doing your infrastructure fixes. So I have to encounter the peaks. So we're just, the current problem we're facing at the moment is my sims have been good, a little too good, and we're walking to our places. The problem is they get on the roundabout and foul it up. So we're just going to fix this. And at the same time, add some new connections. So they've been good sims. They've just been a little too good. Mm. 
and that just gives them a connection into there and then if we do it right because that uh, that leads them to go into there so that's the only one they need there so that now allows for that connection also allows me to do that too so now we've got that set up what we can do is go back to our intersection and prevent them from Uh, if they want to go that way, they can knock themselves out. Uh, not recommended. Okay. So they'll all backtrack, and they should all come onto here. Yep, there they go. What the heck? Get off the footpath, you dozy twat. Goodbye. So that's fixed that problem up. They'll now go and use uh, the footpath to Yeah, so they're handling that fine. Ninety-five, yeah, so they're all handling that fine. So that's that now fixer. That should stop them. There they go. That problem. So now we go to our next area. 81%. So that will clear itself up. And what's next on our list? Ah, the industrial area. What is going on back here? This could be a case of... Shitty speed limits it is and probably further shitty speed limits and they're fine third week in August oh, wishing you all the best Okay, next up. Oh, what the heck? Okay, let's see what's going on here. Here. And we're just going to take this out of nighttime view because it's going to drop into it. Um, let's go back up here. Gameplay. Take. There we go. Right. What's going on in this wonderful show? It might be a case of just crap traffic light phasing because I think I've already done yeah okay so let's see what they're doing for starters quickest way to I have allowed turning on red so what the hell are they doing Okay, they're fine, so I don't know what... Let's make sure your speed limits are high enough. 
Yeah, they're fine. Okay, so they shouldn't be having a derp. So we can ignore them. That's because it's also the sheer fact I've just... It's a port, and it's going to do that. So... We come back down here. This is because their speed's dropping. Okay, this is going to become a perennial problem. There's just too much traffic for it to handle. So we will go. Um, buses come on either side. Uh, now, have I got commercial down here? No. So I don't need to worry. And because of what it is... Turn in. I'm hoping like hell I can fit this in. I'm not going to like it anyway. Except the trees are crappy. Ugh. Give me my elders, yes. Damn game. And what's my street lighting? Equally shitty. I don't know if this game's trying to dirt me or dirt me. Yeah, 31 meters will be fine. Now I might just need to let the buses run. And also clear all the bloody taxis out. fix itself automatically on so I mean the button hasn't broken come on see they're running 110 just one them Now running fine. Where is that other bus? I don't want to necessarily move the stop if it's... Yeah, it's found it. Okay, now let's fix up this show. So this one's a case of... How many lanes have I got coming round? Two. So this might be a case of dropping a... So this is a little bit more expensive, this fix. Hey, eh? what, what the... <sighs> oh boy. Okay, we'll have to do this manually. Thank you, Harry, for the host. Much appreciated. And what we do is... Oh. No, I'll leave that alone. We're just going to take a restriction. Uh, block them off. Apply to entire row. And while I remind, while I'm just reminding, because I'll come back and do the detailing later, so you might catch me doing procedural objects tonight. Oh, far out! This game is really gonna people like you. Shift P.
that uh, you're catching me doing some micro detailing. Something I don't do often. Not on stream anyway. Repeat. Technically I should be because of the way the roads are laid out. I should be using that one, but I'm not. Okay, so that's that one, and then I've just got to go up and I'm going to piss Daniel off, off in a minute. Yeah, go away. No. Oh, that will do. So that's just a case of some very simple decal, uh, using your decals. If you want to know more about decals, YouTube, search Slay3K, his latest video on decal and why it's done and how to do it. So again, that's YouTube, Slay3K and his latest tutorial on decals, which I've just done. And he gives you a very good tutorial on how to do it and why it's done in game. So we're just now going to work out what the game's going to do with itself. Get all the pedestrians across the road, and then we're going. They could now be requiring a separate phase. Uh, as my junctions disabled themselves. No, they haven't. They can turn on the red as well. So what's he doing? Apart from being the biggest bloody clown. Okay, so that should... Hopefully... Allowed them to come around. I think it's all, but it's still going to continue to disrupt these guys, though. So what we might do is oh, my nose though, is separate this out. At a step. Excuse me a minute. Okay, so that is. What have I just done?
Okay, that should allow. Are we still stopping? Got the intersection blocked rule? Nope. See, they're still allowed to turn on the left. So now we're just working out what they're doing here. That's interesting, I don't know if... <laughs> oh yeah, I see why it's doing that, yep. Although I don't want that to happen, they need to... Uh, I'll leave it for now, if it becomes a blocking issue, I'll deal with it later. So that's sorted that problem back out. So now we go back up here, 82. This is always going to be notoriously busy, it's just because we've got... It... Yep, that's fine. So that's fine. So now that's worked itself out, we go... 82, so they should be all fine. Now, why are we having a dip back here? Is it because I've got a... I was going to say, it's just the sheer fact we've got buses running down here. And what have we got here that's... Yep, commercial. And someone that hogs a lot of resource. So that's fine, that's no problem to be worried about. Okay, so now we'll come back over to the main city and see what's going on there. 8 o'clock at night, so it's not going to give an accurate reflection. Okay, we've got motorway junctions screwing up. So let's see what's causing their problem. That's fine. It's fine, so that's a case of a very crappy intersection being built. Eighty three percent, so we're picking back up. I think this is just a case of crappy junction building. So thank you. Um not much I could do about that unless I purposely rebuild the interchange. That was the cat. And if I know my luck, it'll be Derpington. No, no, Derpington's here. It'll be Black, uh, Black Kitty. So this is a real case of... It's because we've got vanilla highways merging into the UK hi UK highway, which doesn't. Theoretically work. So what's happening is the game's having a. Um, bit of a meltdown. Which is fine. It should recognize these. Did I not name this highway? No, I don't. Because it's a shorty. 
short ass. So, oh, that's right, because I was going to get, um, haha, <laughs> I was going to rename that, um, did I rename this bastard though? No, I think that was even a shorter highway. Okay, that's fine. Driving in the wrong direct. <laughs> How are you, Dutz? No, they are not driving in the wrong direction. They're driving in the correct. They're driving the correct way. They're being good sums. It's because these, intercha these interchanges are too long. Oh, I can see why that's having a whopping dip. Oh, that's a cardinal sin. That's a very big cardinal sin. Lay mathematics don't add up. Two and two is not three. Two and two is four. So, by... There's two ways I can alter that. I can try and drop a four. Which is not going to let me do. Or. This is going to be buyers. Oh, give me a break. Come on. Cities in motion. Far out. All right, so that's fixing that up. So that was one big cardinal sin. Yeah, that's fine. It's just not picking up the lane marking. Okay. Now should have just allowed them to scoot on at speed. Come down, drop down. Hmm. Those are my cus um, custom made signs, by the way. It was was in game. Oh, Zeppelin. Just going to take a picture. So, for those that have just joined us, we are continuing through City Skylines just doing basic infrastructure fixes. So, using what you've got rather than building big mega highways here every, through everything. The idea is you optimize what you've got before you go start building you and trashing the place with big six lane highways everywhere. 
excuse me while the game just has a slight there it is that was quick Dirt. also will I just go and fix this up So I'm just doing some quick detailing on the way out. Done. For some reason, half my decals went for a walk. And just remind me to turn prop anarchy back off, or I'm going to get myself into a one hell of a poodoo mess. So that's done, so make sure I turn prop anarchy back off. Oops, wrong one. So that's that fixed. So now we continue on. That will phase itself out. So now why are we derping again? I think this is because there's just a um It's just the sheer volume of traffic running through. 84%! So we're climbing slowly back to 86. So that's slowly climbing back up. What are the speed limits? 60 and 60, 60 and 60. So that's fine. Because these guys can constantly turn on the red. It's 83. Where we now got problems. Um, I don't need to worry about residential. They're fine. That's not really causing any problems in itself, so we now come down here. Oh, check down here first. That's fine. Let's make sure we've got no other... Okay, so this is now having a um, double derp. This is the monorail row. Yep, okay. And it's probably causing problems with this. Also, this is the fact there's not enough jobs going around. So, what's our education levels? It's night time, that always janks backwards. Okay, so what's our problem here? Are they still having a. Might just knock them out. So that's the district office building. Uh, wrong one. Game's gonna, um, bug register office. What the heck? Oh, the building's has gone for a walk. That's cute. Have I got it in Rico? Uh, 
and it's not that one, it was this one. Small office building. Okay, so that's... I think it's having the biggest derp of its life. Might deal with that in a minute. Okay, that's nice to know for that. Sorry, a bit distracted there. Seems half the Japan pack wanted to go for a walk. Right, it's going to take a long time to backfill though, so I'm not really... I need to name half of these too. Oh yeah, they're all working nicely. And there's one more I need to check. Where did I... Okay, so it takes the... Oh, I see what it's done. Derpy as hell, but... I'm not going to worry. Okay. So back to this. So what do we got? That intersection, so that'll be because of a turn right. And also we can probably jettison some parking too. Okay. Let's get the fixes done. That cannot be done because of the way the zips come in. I can probably, if I really wanted to. So we also just need to watch the parking. Let's get some extra parking down. Up, but is anarchy on? Just gotta watch out, I don't knock these into Zeppelin um, areas, otherwise, I'm gonna be a bit in the stink. So then I can knock. enough parking there okay so we've got double problems so let's just see what's going on first thing we need to do just make sure that is on that is disabled more the game's intuitive it's not that intuitive hey yes I do hang on Hang on, just to the other one. Just to the other one. Let's go and see if I can go and find it. Yeah, there we go. Wait. There we go. Maybe because Christmas music is the best music. Right, so let's go and...
Yes, I am a Doctor Who fan, and I know exactly the episode you are talking about. So, this is just a case of knocking off uh, wrong one. Yes, I know that one there was also one where they were going down on the Space Titanic. So that should solve itself there. Uh, wrong one. This is just a case of me just being not so lazy. Uh, for this one, I need to see if I've got buses. No, I don't. So that's... So this is just a case of just knocking off. I'm taking your safe. Yeah, I'll tell you, the skies are full of zeppelins. Well, this city is full of zeppelins as well. Oh, someone's playing basketball. might be the wrong time because this is technically if I drop the game back and I should do actually it's night time Okay, so that should fix them up. Back out. It's 84%. Yep, that was a very quick fix. That's just a case of doing your lane mathematics a little bit better. So now we come across, see what else we've got. Who's derping? Are these all offices having the biggest as derp? Yep. I need to build the campus. And that will be done next string. Okay, what's going on down here? Might be just normal run on traffic. So 84. Okay, let's come down here. Just make sure. are turned on. Look at all these sims! Sims everywhere! How many is he about to drop on me? Enough. Okay, so that solves that one. I think we're okay for the moment. Nothing. Ooh, I think we're going to be looking at our transit next. Oh, yes. This wonderful little Class A show. What's going on down here? Where are they going? Okay, this could be a simple case of a um, series of set of one-way roads. Yep. I think that's the best way to handle this one. So, one-way road. Kyla, forgive me. <laughs> yep, I'll give you that. Kyla, give you it. Right, I'm going to be back in a minute. I'm just going to grab a coffee and a restroom stop. I will be back in a moment. Northern lights are kicking on, so. Yeah, the northern lights are kicking 
again. Oh, you guys see it better than I do. Right, I'll leave you with a shot at the back of the Tribune, and we'll be back in just a moment. Right. So this is a, now going to be a case of... Using your existing corridor and flipping the roads around. Uh, or not. Okay, so we've got a problem. We've got um, a bus route. That feeds up. Now, I could intuitively flip it over. what I'm going to do first. Alright, see you soon Harry. So what I'll do is I will
pretty sure it's not running anywhere out. See what's gonna do. Type bell iron itself up. Other stops on the rope. Okay, so Connor, you're a dirt. Absolute derpy boy. So that's done that. So now I can focus on I'm hoping this will fit. Yep. That allows for whoop. Just like that, one pro traffic problem fixed using a one-way system. And not a single building was taken in that. So that should allow... 85, so... And that will clear itself up. This intersection might do it for a bit longer. Yeah, but I 
I don't want that to take a right hand turn. So that's that done. So that is all our problematic intersections fixed. Um, it's just going to need the game to run for about 10 minutes. Oh, hello. Got one more. I mean, this is, I think this is also the leisure zone kicking. So leisure zone causes another, causes a unique issue. So if we go back out, you will notice at the moment, it's night time. And yep, that is, excuse me, that is the Northern Lights. So we've got night time across the city at the moment. And this is a leisure district changes your game dynamics again so for those who don't know so you saw the tourism area earlier leisure goes one more so this whole area uh, which is Southern Shores is one big leisure district with its part so if I was to drop down do do okay, see anyone so you've got all the nightlife happening including a mall which is open 24 7 You got your things like your bars, convention centers, diners, even got a Macca's. So yeah, your leisure area um, has activity at night. It's not unusual for me to um, have trains that are more busy at night than it is in the day. That would not be unusual. So that's fine. So I've got one more problematic intersection to fix up. And what I might do is I need to really take those out because parking can cause congestion. Yeah, ir irony on those, sound the irony alarm. So put those on on one, two, three, four, parking problem fixed, and that keeps that free, and then I might um, intuitively put more parking down that side later. So this next intersection is having a Christmas dirt, so what's she up to? Might be just a case of lay mathematics is out. Yep. If that's the case, then I can allow them for these guys. So, yes, yes, yes. I'll take a turn on the red. it looks like it is and it doesn't probably just the speed of the intersection so that's fine now next thing I need to do so summary tonight we've been looking at basic tra um, transport fixes no six lane highways were laid but we did retrofit a few roads we did have one case of widening which was done over here but it used the same corridor so basically no buildings were demolished so apart from that most of the cases were using oh, thank God,
So basically, figuring out what's going on. See, this side is now completely calmed down. This side will jank. It might be a case I might need to make it a three-laner to allow traffic to come out better. Which is probably what it's going to end up being. Welcome back. So, apart from one case where I did have to chuck in more lanes, which was basically adding another general lane while keeping the bus lane there, no buildings were demolished, no six lane highways were laid. We, we went through at each intersection, made sure our, super, our lanes were set up, if necessary, make sure the junctions were set up, making sure our turns are done properly, and then from time to time, adding bring the traffic lights under time control because what can happen has happened with this intersection this intersection might take parking out of here too and divert them off and particularly over in this roundabout is they were being fouled up by the pedestrians so we either gave, gave the pedestrians their own signal phase where they can cross without cars cutting across or in this case, we did build new infrastructure and we built, there they all go, we built walking and biking infrastructure for them to use, so they weren't crossing a roundabout and fouling the traffic up. And so now they've got a way to get across, because the Sims intuitively will walk and bike if you provide it for them. Like if I come down to, okay this intersection has been a dip, why is that? No particular reason, it's just a lot of people coming out of Salarian Shores. Uh, I don't think it's this one. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. And they're not crossing the roundabout at all. They are just going up and over. Drop down. Yeah, there we go. And they're not fouling up the roundabout, which is carrying major six lane road as well as feeder roads into the respective areas so that's how you could end if I had the money enabled that would have cost no more than about retrofitting a bit of highway flopping over creating a one-way road and doing your lights and about no more than 25,000 simulonians whereas a six lane highway to do the same thing you're seeing about 150k quite quickly Oh, well, oh, thank goodness for that, Dr. Y. I'm glad that was able to have happened. Now, the next thing we need to do, which can cause traffic problems, is making sure our, um, oh, yeah, look at them all go here, is making sure our transit system is up to scratch. Because if your services are overcrowded or stuck on congested roads, they don't take transit, they go to the car, which adds to more congestion. So, in this last part, we are going to go through our transit system. Uh, it's currently 11 o'clock at night, so this is going to be reflecting night traffic, but it's a good time to do it too. So, we'll start with the buses and we will work our way down. All of them, bar one, are turning profit but numbers like this might give it away that there could be a bucket load of traffic 29 passengers that's because the monorail takes I think most of the traffic it's, I need to connect it out to where the monorail does it monorail it's night time at the moment but he carries a lot and then you've got the zips. They're just more for visual effect. And then the helicopters. They don't carry a lot at night, so I'm not expecting them to make money. If we look across here, and this is using transport line manager. Hey, Caves, how are you? We're just do I'm doing basically running an um, in-game tutorial on basic traffic fixes using. Um, your existing infrastructure 
Oh, heck, did that run out again? It has two. Um, and using transport manager, uh, transport manager president's edition to do it. So, for example, oh, I don't think you've seen me do this either. This was done last last game. So, drop down. I did the harbour area, so I built the port and the harbour. And that's looking back over the city. So, yeah, so we were doing a lot of fix traffic fixes tonight. Traffic was at 79% and we've got it back up to uh, 85%. And that was just using traffic management to fix up intersections. There was one case I did have to widen the road, but it didn't knock any buildings over, so it was using the same corridor space. Uh, another case of um, having to build a flipper road over to one way. And then for the last part, I had to build um, cycling infrastructure so the Sims could carry it. There you go, the Zeppelins. Because the PMB palms, which are these ones here, get very heavily utilized. So I'll drop down the ground level. Uh, the northern lights are on, so you can see them. I go down to this is a favorite one of mine you can see they're all using the paths so that's where we are at and now just for the final part we're going to go through the transit system work out what's going right and what's not going right at all because it's 85 because if we look at uh, wrong one you look at the monorail, she's doing well, and so are the buses. So we're going to now go through line by line and see what they're doing. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is look down here and see if we've got any capacity issues. Now, given it's night time at the moment, that's not going to be a most accurate reflection on record. So no capacity issues there. And the other one we can check is passengers weighing. You're looking for red dots. None. Although this is a bit low. Yeah, that takes a different name. So, okay, next one. 100%, so he's working efficiently. Again, checking to see no them are at capacity. That's the monorail hub. That's that. That will always. Oh no, we do have a red dot. Courthouse. Okay, so we do have an issue. Where's he? He's making his way down now. So we do have a slight issue of we've got residents waiting too long. If they go bored, they drop off and take a pocket car. So he's on his way down. So he shouldn't be too long. So we've just got to realise there might be there's a bit of a gap. And that's because there's a big 1300 metre distance. Um, So we've just got to watch that they get that they're getting bored there. The game will just go clunky for a minute. So let's pop a capacity issue. Is. 
that's that. Okay, so that's okay. Crisis averted with that one. Yep. And then the academic library. Yeah, that's because that's just catching up now. So apart from that, no major problems I need to be aware of. Oh, hello. it looks like it's just thrown down a new um, vehicle. How many vehicles have I got on? Yeah, 14. Okay. So no, that's fine. 324. Okay, so again, we've got not a case of overloading, but we've got a case of boredom. Looks like there's a unit right there, so. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, where is he in relation to things? He's there. Okay, this might be a case of them trying to unbunch. So that's fine. No problems there. Yes, this is slow. Yes, this is methodical. But it needs to be done. Uh, it has to be done. Now this is the backup. But that's a feeder bus. So what was that? Um, that should be taking a different name. Yep. They're fine. They're fine. Most of these are fine. It's these probably these big ones I need to go and check. Ironically, that's fine because he's got a bucket load of buses sitting on him. Uh, nope, he's... That's fine. That is unusual for the Tribune loop, loop to be making money. Okay, so then you got successive problems here. You might get full, so... Ah, the, yeah, I know why that's happening. And that's because we've just flipped it over. Alright, that will take a while to clear. That's okay. Now what's going on with this buddy guy? Where are you, my friend? And why are you having a, a derp? Uh, what's your setting? Oh, this is the park. Have we got any sims waiting, or is it just a case of maybe too many vehicles, too bigger vehicles? Could be a case of too many vehicles, given the size. That could be a case of just going back to feeder and forcing this down to just dropping them off. So, apart from a couple of minor adjustments, most of this is fine. The monorail is doing exceedingly well. Subway just needs to pick, pick its backside up. And that will do it when I finish, it, um, finish doing the campus area, because I've got to do two campus areas. One here, and one over here. So, the metro... will naturally pick up once I finish doing those. The rest of the game is telling me I need to do residential. So that will be done when I stream either tomorrow or Wednesday. We'll be basically um, backfilling in here. And probably here. And then start a campus area here so I can get the metro going. I could probably shut these off at night. They don't do anything. But yes, that's where we are at for a grand city of Celeria. And I hope the end um, tonight you've ever it's been helpful in how you can do uh, some in-game fixes that don't cost a lot of money. They, get, they can get a bit repetitive at times, I'll give you that. 
but they are the best way of keeping the city running efficiently in that. And as I said, not a single six lane highway was built. There was one case of road widening, but for the rest it was using the rest of it was all existing corridor. And in the transit system, um, it's doing exceedingly well with most lines turning over a profit, which is quite um, phenomenal. I love this because it shows me what's going on. Apparently most of the people using the monorail is um, children and teens. That's quite a few students. A lot of... So they use it as, as a primary transport line. And I... So yeah. I love Transport Line Manager, it's very rich in detail in um, helping you find things out of what's going right, what's going wrong, and what needs uh, what needs fixing. And that's what the city looks like if you take it from that position, of course. The Northern Lights are enabled. So this is where I will leave you tonight, folks. I'll see if there's anyone online, and I'll hand them off to you. I'll hand them off to you. If not, well, then this will beg me good night till tomorrow. Where I'll be back online at 7. Exclamation Discord to keep up with what I'm doing. And yeah, next stream will be um, flat out residential building by the looks of it, according to my demand bar. Right, let's see who's online. Hopefully someone from the EU is online this morning, uh, this evening. I haven't been the last few days, it's been a bit... Let's see who we've got. No one! Bugger! Cities that I know. 